Hello and welcome to Todd versus BBD. Today we're getting prepared for the StarCityGames.com Modern Open in Baltimore. Yeah. How excited are you to play some Modern for an Open? Uh, oh, I'm excited to play for an Open. <laughs> just not in general? Yeah, just not in general. That's but fine. I, I, I love Modern. I, I liked Modern before the last Pro Tour. <laughs> the old Mono Boutron didn't get you. It, it did not. Russell, so yeah. I, I actually, uh, <laughs> last night I saw a post about uh, they showed every archetype breakdown, and there were only two people playing Mono Boutron. Interesting. Who are those two people? You and Bard Narson. What was their combined record? Bad. Not great. <laughs> yeah, not great. But uh, today we are uh, excited to play Modern because we are testing for the Open, and hopefully you guys at home are also doing the same if you're planning on going. If not, feel free to watch us on SCG Live as hopefully one of us takes down the tournament. Hopefully. Uh, but today I'm going to be... I'm going to be playing uh, the Tazigar Splinter Twin deck that I played at the Pro Tour with a few updates. Uh, Brian, what are you playing? I am playing the uh, Wiltleaf Liege Abzan deck that Kibler and Jacob Wilson, a number of the other members of Team Face to Balls played. Face to Balls. Face to Balls. Because it was Face to Face. And Fireball. And channel, okay. Channel Fireball. All right. <laughs> We're going to maybe bleep that out, maybe not. We Probably don't know not. Yeah. Probably not. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> Uh, should be a pretty fun matchup today, uh, but we're going to go ahead and go over the decks real quick, starting with mine and Tassigur Twin, followed by Brian's deck tech right down below, but let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. So, uh, to start off with, uh, I just want to say that this is not your traditional Splinter Twin combo deck. This is very, uh, like, minor sideboard, or sorry, very minor, uh, minorly reliant on the combo. I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Uh, we only have three Pestermine, two Splinter Twin, and the reason for this is because with so much Abzan running around with things like Abrupt Decay, Thoughtseize, Liliana, uh, just a lot of disruption and creature removal, the combo is actually not that strong. Yep. You do want access to this uh, combo against other combo decks because it allows you to attack them on two different angles, but... Uh, to be completely honest, I don't actually really like the Splinter Twin combo all that much, but uh, there are matchups where it is just necessary. Yeah. Um, one thing about the Splinter Twin decks in general is that uh, the combo actually, as a threat, is more important than the combo itself. People play differently when they think they could just die to, you know, Pestermite or Deceiver X arc untap and cast Splinter Twin. That means they're going to be playing their spells less aggressively, holding up mana. They're going to be saving the removal spells to try to kill your combo pieces as opposed to killing your other stuff. Yep. Uh, and that can really put you in the driver's seat throughout most of the game and uh, just really uh, puts a, a strain on the opponent's resources and what they're trying to do. But uh, the Tasker Twin deck is really centered around our Tarmogoyf proxy, which is Tasker the Golden Fang. And he does a lot of work in this deck. He uh, acts as a Tarmogoyf proxy for attacking and blocking purposes, but the longer the game goes, the stronger his ability becomes, uh, especially when you can use Grim Lavamancer to filter out the bad cards out of your graveyard, so you get to always rebuy a counter spell, always rebuy a removal spell, unless, of course, you flip over uh, you know, a different spell on, in the top two, which does happen on occasion. Another thing about Tazgar too is like in standard, for example, a lot of times you're getting back things like Sylvan Caritas with them. That's not that impressive, but here there are no bad cards in the deck. Yeah, I mean there are times where you'll get a redundant Tazgar, but sometimes that's okay because they have a removal spell for it. Sometimes you get like a Splinter Twin when you don't have a combo guy or vice versa, but honestly neither of these cards are all that bad. Having the threat of Splinter Twin in your hand is pretty good, Yeah. Uh, but... On top of that, like, Pestermite's a fine creature on in its own right, which is why we're playing Pestermite over Deceiver Exarch, even though Pestermite dies to Lightning Bolt, whereas Deceiver Exarch does not. But uh, a couple cool things about this deck. Uh, Grim Lavamancer is just one of the best cards uh, for this archetype right now, I think. Even the blue-red Splinter Twin decks, I think, should all be playing at least two copies, maybe even three. Uh, this card helps you fight against Lingering Souls. It allows you to gain a lot of virtual card advantage against uh, cheap creatures. And uh, it does uh, a lot of work with Tassiger to make sure that his uh, ability is high quality and, and impactful. We have uh, four Snapcaster Mages to flash back our bevy of removal and counter spells and card draw effects. Uh, a Singleton Vendillion Click 
that uh, combos really well with Tassiger to actually put a lot of pressure on your opponent through just attacking, while being a great card to help disrupt your opponent, or just get rid of like a Splinter Twin when you don't have a Pester Might, or a, like a Terminate against a combo deck. Um, we have uh, two copies of Spell Snare, four Remand, two Cryptic Command to uh, disrupt our opponent, and uh, these spells all work really well with Snapcaster Mage. Uh, being able to like Snapcaster, Spell Snare, a Voice of Resurgence, uh, Tarmogoyf, Scavenging Ooze, uh, even like a, an opposing Remand is all very, very powerful. Uh, we have one copy of Batter Skull as another top end piece to go along with our plan of Tassiger, Vendillion Click, Snapcaster, Beatdown, but. Um, I'm not really sure on this card yet. I, I like it in theory. I haven't actually tested out a batter skull in the main deck yet. We have a second one in the sideboard, which we'll get to in a moment. But uh, the rest of the deck, we have uh, four bolt to go along with the two Lava Mancer, an Electrolyze, uh, two Terminate as hard removal against things like Tarmogoyf and Siege Rhino, which has been phenomenal. And then we have uh, seven card draw spells with uh, Serum Vision and Thought Scour. The cool thing about Thought Scour in this deck is that sometimes it allows you to turn to Tassiger. Yeah. Uh, if you have... Any uh, any fetch land, any other land that comes into play untapped in a Tassiger, you can just cast it on turn two, which is pretty awesome. In that regard, he acts like a Tarmogoyf, but at the same time, uh, he's not reliant on your graveyard to be pumped. So any sort of delve spell your opponent might play, or if your opponent doesn't actually put anything in the graveyard, you're not really affected by it. He like also Tarmogoyf can't, would be. can't be abrupticated either. Yeah, the fact that he doesn't die to abrupticate or spell snare is pretty gigantic. The mana base, we're playing a couple extra fetch lands to help our Grim Lavamancer turn on. Uh, two islands, a swamp, and a mountain so that we do have the ability to fetch up basics without taking a ton of damage against things like burn. Uh, and then uh, three steam vents and one of each of the other two dual lands. Well, uh, that is the main deck for Tassiger Twin. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sideboard. All right, so in the sideboard, let's start off with uh, the glaring oddity, which is not matching pictures of engineering <laughs> explosives, yeah, which I hate. But that's, that's a mistake. Sometimes either. that's all you can find. Yeah. And these were all I could find this morning. I apologize. Anyway, uh, we have uh, two copies of engineering explosives and is that static caster to help out against uh, decks that try to put a lot of things into play really quickly. Uh, they also work reasonably well against lingering souls, being able to take out all the tokens or just spend zero and kill them all. Uh, but Injury Explosives is mainly here to help out against things uh, like uh, Boggles. It's one of the only ways for a Grixis style deck to be able to permanently destroy enchantments. So having access to something like this could help you out against in a, a number of random strategies. And in Modern, it's important to have sideboard cards that can help you out in a number of situations. Yep. Uh, it's also important to have game-breaking spells against decks that are really tough to beat, such as Affinity. We have two Shatterstorms and a Vandal Blast. And the reason we have this split instead of just like three Shatterstorms or whatever is because... Uh, you know, sometimes you just need to cast a uh, one mana spell like Vandal Blast to kill uh, an early Arcbound Ravager or Cranial Plating or something like that. Uh, and with Snapcaster Mage, being able to flash it back for only one mana is pretty great as well. And uh, it only costs one more to do effectively the same thing with Overload. So I like the 2 1 split here. Yeah. Uh, as far as counter spells to help out against combo decks and control decks, we have 2 Negate, 2 Dispel. I'm. Not going to play the Counterflux because I don't think Scapeshift is all that popular, and Counterflux is like a pretty big card against them, but I don't think it's entirely necessary uh, at this juncture. And then we have uh, two Sword of Temptation, which are fantastic against Abzan decks because they usually only have like, uh, you know, they have their traditional four Abrupt Decays, and then usually they only have like one or two Path to Exile, Dismember, Murder's Cut effects, yep. something like that. So Sword of Temptation has been pretty good. If you expect your opponent to have a lot of those kind of removal spells that do kill it, you can bring in the tag team combo of Sower and Dispel. Uh, we have a second Vendillion Click and a second Batter Skull when we feel like the combo is unnecessary. So we can just uh, bring these in and have more of a beatdown plan. And then uh, a Fork Bolt to go along with the Izzet Static Caster to help out against the really aggressive or mana-based creature decks. All right, guys. Well, that's Tassiger Twin. Uh, drop down to the video right below, and Brian will tell you all about Little Kid Aggro. Big Kid. Oh, sorry. Medium Kid Aggro. Me medium Kid.